Yeah, so, I mean, we were just chatting about the, the Polytium clip and decided to kind of roll the cameras a little bit. Right, and... yeah. Well, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'd be lying if, if I said I didn't watch the video online from <laughs> Sonic State. Oh, yeah. It was, you know, uh, it, it appeared on there a couple of days ago, I think. Yeah. And um, so I sent you guys an email when I knew we were meeting up, so yeah. bring me one of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll say that, you know, it's beautiful looking. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it doesn't look like any other clip on tuna in, in its design or in its, um, in its display. And what was great about it is because you said, oh, here's a new, new clip on tuna. And I just went, oh, that's where I would expect the button yeah. to be. And that's where it was. Uh, yeah. So I didn't, I haven't read anything on it, you know, or anything. It's, you know, uh, it, it behaves exactly like your other poly, yeah. poly tuners. Um, the display, even with my glasses on, it's really, really responsive. And if it's this responsive on an electric guitar, um, I would imagine on an acoustic it's going to be even more. Yeah. Uh, but this, and it's beautiful. I mean, this is really beautiful. When you said that uh, this was, you know, a real um, labor-intensive project. Oh, yes. And, and I, even though it's so small, you can tell that a lot of thought oh, went into thanks, this, yes. and it's it's uh, it's it, funny because when you you know when you think of clip-on tuners, it's you know it's become this commodity where you just kind of go like, okay, throw some kind of plastic thing in a bag, and right, I mean, right, it, you know, it's funny because we kind of figured, you know, we care so much about our gear as guitar players. You have great guitars, great effects, great amps, right, and then you you know if you use a clip-on, to yeah. it's like. You know, it's attaching this cheap piece of plastic, and we're right. like, "Oh man, let's <clears throat> let's make something nice." I will tell you when uh, when we when we uh, recorded uh, the latest Billy Idol record. Um, when you record acoustic guitars, you're in a separate room, right? Yeah. They mic you up and everything, and then the engineer, and producer, in the other room. So you go in there, and and I couldn't use a clip-on tuner because it wasn't they weren't accurate enough. Oh, okay. So I'm in the room, and I'm having to unplug and, you know, plug into a tuner yeah. and do all this kind of stuff. And, uh, and I thought, wow, you know, they, they, they're okay. <clears throat> Most of them that I've used are okay enough for at mm -hmm. home or whatever yeah. or, or to fine tune or something. But this, the, there hasn't been a clip on tuner that to me is accurate enough or sensitive enough for when you really want to no. want to get you to talk perfectly yeah. in tune. Um, this one seems to be yeah, the well, one, uh, you know. We try our best, at least. I mean, it it seems like a, an extension of the of the great polytune that, yeah. you're, that you guys have. Do you use them live ever, or? Mm. I do, yeah, on my acoustic. On my acoustics, yeah. But you know what? It's there in case I go out of tune. Yeah. But my tech tunes the guitar, yeah. and it's you know ninety nine percent of the time I never have to turn no, it on. It's just a safety. It's a precaution safety kind thing, of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is cool for sure. Yeah. But hey, thanks for for liking the the Polytune clip.